so now I'm going to show you how to make a V, um, which are really cool, and you can do them in one color or multiple colors. So I kind of drew a little line of where I wanted my V to go. Um, the It's folded in half so that when you open it, it does have the V pattern. So fold your fabric in half, then create the line of where you want your V to go, and then you're gonna fold along that line. So you're gonna pick it up and grab it and try and make sure that your folds are even. So from that corner, which was the tip, to that corner is where you want your rubber band to go. That's going to create the V and where you're going to stop your color. So that creates the border, right? So you can add another color if you want right here, or you can use the rubber bands just to create cool kind of more geometrical patterns. I happen to love these. It's one of my favorite, especially on like a shirt or bodysuit. I was doing that a lot. Um, on our tie-dye bodysuits that we were doing for the kit. So, just adding another one. And you can totally use um, string instead. Rubber bands get a little hard on your hands. I, my hands are all just cut up at the moment, so string might be a better idea for those of you who have sensitive hands like me. Um, and you also get a lot of control. So here's three. Um, I think I'm going to add a few more just for fun and I'll show you what the finished product looks like. Okay, so here is our V. I've done it into, I did five different um, sections uh, and I'm just trying to remember. That's where the actual center line is. So maybe right here, I will start with, oh, let me get. The hardest thing about tie-dye is keeping all the colors from getting all over each other and messing up on other dyes. So I try and keep it as neat as possible, but 
doesn't really work out as I planned. I'm using my rubber, again, rubber bands again as a separator of color, but you don't have to. You could literally just do this whole thing all in one color, and where the rubber bands are, it would just be white, which is also really cool, and I, I personally love that, but trying to show more options of what you guys can do. So this would be our V. And then I'll let it sit over for eight hours in a plastic bag because you want to keep the dime moist. Um, I'd wring this out first uh, and then put it in a plastic bag and let it sit for eight to ten hours before rinsing. <laughs> 